Welcome everybody to Clarington Kia, where it's your experience, your way, every day, online and in store. And today on this windy day, we're gonna take a look at this 2018 Kia Sedona LX. This has just over 134,000 kilometers. Really nice looking van, great for you and the family with some fantastic features. And that's what we're gonna do today, explore the exterior and interior condition, as well as talk about some of the great features that's on this Sedona. So underneath the hood, we have a 3.3 liter V6 engine to a six speed automatic transmission. You're gonna get out 9.5 liters per 100 fuel economy combined, which is fantastic. Take you, the kids to hockey, cottage, whatever it might be, it's not gonna kill you on gas for sure. Now up front, you can see we've got those nice LED daytime running lights, that really sharp looking uh, Kia grille at the front. And the front bumper's a little bit stone pitted, probably just from highway mileage, but really, really, really light. So nothing really to be concerned about there. Um, right over here on the front fender, I'm not sure if you can see it, just some really, really, really light. I mean, I can probably buff that out with just my fingers. So a lot of that, if we, have, if we, uh, if we buff it, will come out quite a bit lighter. Now we've got 17 inch alloys on the LX model. They look great. A little bit, again, just some light, light, light scratches right here. Probably just some rocks that flew off. Again, super light, nothing I would be concerned about. Now, LED turn signals in the mirrors. Nice, big, wide sliding doors, of course. We'll take a look at those in just a second. But the driver's side of this vehicle looks to be okay. It's a black vehicle, so of course you're gonna see some of the scratches more than you would others, but it's light. Nothing I'm gonna really have to point out to draw too much attention to. Coming around the back, again, just a little scratch there. One's a little bit harsher, about two inches long. Uh, the back bumper, I mean, it is what it is. Back bumpers, you rest stuff on there. You put stuff in here, hockey bags, things like that. We have a little bit of paint missing, nothing crazy, but we do have the rear sonar in the back. And all of that could be touched up. If you were really super picky about it, that's what I would do. Now, taking a look in the rear, we've got lots of room back here. We've got split, uh, split folding seats, pardon me. Push that and then they fold down pretty darn easy. You could pull this and then they will actually collapse into the back trunk area here as well. If you wanted something for more fold flat seating. Now, or seating, cargo room. Taking a look at the rear seats, they're in nice shape. No rips, tears, stains, or burns back here. I'll take a look at those again when we get inside the van, but just to give you a quick close up. Moving around to the passenger side. This rear bumper here has uh, been repainted. It shows signs of repaint right around here. But again, that's to a trained eye. You probably won't notice it, but I just happened to see it there. So I figured I might as well point that out because that's the purpose of this video. It's full disclosure. So that way you know exactly what you're looking at with this vehicle from Clarington Kia. Coming around to the gay on the passenger side front, a little bit of a scuff here on the front bumper. Might be kind of hard to see, you know, it's pretty darn light, but it is there. Now, with the few cosmetic things that are on the van, if that's something that you'd like us to take care of, um, ask your sales consultant when you call, we can give you an estimate on how much that would be. I say estimate because this van is priced accordingly. We know that there's a few little minor things, so we've priced it accordingly, so that way it's still a fantastic deal if you're okay to willing to live with that, if you want it fixed, then we can get some information for you so you can make that decision a little bit better. Rear seats here, you can see it is an eight seater configuration. Seats are in great shape. Now that middle seat there, you could actually take out to make this like captain's chair. So this would be a center pass through if you want, or you can leave it in the eight seater configuration. Nice armrests on those outside captain's chairs. And then to get to the rear, this handle here, give this a pull and then it all folds forward so you can get into those back seats. And as you can see back here, lots of room, still good leg room back here. You can have legs and sit in the back, which is kind of nice. We've got vents up top and then we've got tri-zone climate control. So let me see if I can show you over here. Fold this seat back. So we've got that tri-zone climate control. So rear passengers have their own independent temperature settings, which is a nice feature to have. Now, Taking a look at the driver's and passenger's front seats. Again, really nice shape. This is a non-smoker vehicle, does not smell, has no odors, which is nice. And the power, uh, the driver's seat is a power seat with power lumbar support as well. 
which is super convenient. Obviously, you get in there and those little finer tunes on the driver's seat will make it really easy to get nice and comfortable. Now, inside here, Bluetooth controls, radio controls on the left, cruise controls on the right. Take a look at the dash. We've got 134,603 kilometers on this one. Now, over here, our infotainment system. So we have a six speaker infotainment system with a seven inch touchscreen display. And before I forget, yes, we do have a rear view camera. All right, nice, big, clear screen there. And then if we go here, this is the most important one as far as I'm concerned, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay is on board. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna change this entire thing to be more like your iPhone or your Android. Then you can use um, your text messaging with voice reply so that way you don't have to pick up your phone. Uh, you can use all your digital music, Spotify, you know, Apple Music, whatever it is that you like to listen to. Everything's digital, it all goes through here and it basically acts just like your cell phone to keep your hands off of your phone and everything's still connected. I love that feature. Uh, you do that just by connecting through the USB. Now, if you're not going to use that, there is a good stereo system on board, AM, FM, Bluetooth audio, um, XM radio as well. Just show you all the sources here. Where are we? Uh, yeah, no, sources, media, all menu. It's somewhere, media, band. AM, FM, Sirius XM, there we go. <laughs> and then Bluetooth audio streaming, obviously, uh, through the media button there. Um, so that takes care of your uh, stereo system there. Like I say, six speaker system with all the digital music choices you could possibly want. Here is our air conditioning and tri-zone climate control. So driver's side, passenger side have their own temperature. That is a lie. No, that's totally a lie, sorry. I'm so used to having dual zone. Front temperature, rear temperature. Front temperature, rear temperature. You can lock out the rear as you see here, so that way uh, if you've got little ones back there that love to push buttons, you can lock that out and just control it yourself, or you can let them have access to it, whatever you prefer, um, just so that way it's not an inconvenience or a nuisance to you. Here's our USB ports here. Now we've got our leather wrap shifter. We've got heated front seats in the driver and passenger up front. Our active eco, which is super nice, it's actually just gonna tune down that V6 engine and the throttle response to save you a little bit on fuel. And then your parking sensors, which you can turn off if you were towing something, you can turn those off. We've got a little bit of a hidden cargo box here and then another one underneath our armrest, plus two little glove boxes up front here. You can see for pens and stuff and then your owner's manual down below. But I mean, a really nice looking van, 134,000 K. Now our car proof here, 2018 Kia Sedona LX. There's our VIN number. It does show one accident found. Um, it is a pretty minor accident from what I can see. We've got a uh, reported um, registration in Ontario and seven service records. So when we look at the Carfax, let's go to that information here. It says accident reported, moderate damage, damage to left front, damage to left rear. I don't see where that damage is. Maybe those are the, uh, the little repaints that we see on the front and the rear bumper, those scuffs there. Uh, but again, inquire with your salesperson. They're gonna have some more details for you about that if that is uh, something of concern to you. But a 2018 Kia Sedona LX, 134,000K, black on gray interior. Interior looks great. Exterior, we're gonna fix it up a little bit. I mean, a nice looking van, well-priced, perfect for you and the family. Why buy new? Your family's just gonna destroy this thing anyway. Kids in hockey, little ones with juice. Like, this is a great van. This is perfect for what you need it for. Get it cheap, drive it for four or five years, and then get yourself an SUV once you know you can kind of do that. That's what I would do. That's what you should do. And if you'd like to do that, you can buy that here at Clarington Kia, either online or in store. The choice is yours because it's your experience, your way here at Clarington Kia.